Hey, too, with Jeff Lindsay in the garage, December 23rd. Want to do a quick mail call. David Faust. Busy Bee Restorations. David, that's long overdue. I apologize. It has taken a while. But we got you up on the wall. And for uh, folks that need to know, that want to know, David's going to be building a 72, similar to the project that uh, me and Russ um or doing i'm not sure if his is a z28 um a rs it may be I don't, i'm not sure a super sport uh we'll have to go back in there and, and check that out but I, i'm pretty sure it's a 72 camaro similar to ours i know he was in the process of ordering a lot of sheet metal uh as soon as he gets over some shoulder surgery he'll be getting started uh youtube we left off um starting the repairs around that back windshield. Everything else is kind of like, you know, where we left off. Uh, the fenders are good. They're in epoxy. The core, the header panel, the lower valence, everything is good and, and ready and waiting. Um, and, and I just need to get on this roof skin. It's been a couple of weeks, a little over maybe. Uh, we did have to work a couple of weekends and that's fine. Uh, we just hadn't been out and done much of anything, but uh, we're going to get started today. I'm probably going to build a little dolly. I want to take these doors back off. I don't want them in the way uh, as I start trying to fold this seam on each side. I want to be able to get up in there as close as I can without having to worry about the door, which means they will come back off. Um, I've seen the little door holders, people using them, and they just mount onto a floor jack. Pretty neat little deal. I may try to build one of those today. All right, Tobers. Jeff Lynn's in the garage still, the 23rd. Uh, we've got the cradle under the door, and we've got all the bolts pulled but two. And we're going to pull those two. We're going to see how this thing acts coming off. Cross her fingers. Hopefully everything is going to go good. I'll try to stay out of the way as best I can. And look at, see what's going on. That went fairly smooth. Everything seems to be plenty sturdy enough. I think that's going to be a win. I'm going to try to spin this door around, let you get a shot of what the inside looks like. Maybe. Pretty slick. Pretty slick. YouTube, if you have ever messed with these second gen doors much, you know they heavy, they bulky, they awkward. That little cradle is going to make my life a lot easier taking these doors off and putting them back on. So uh, we didn't really have enough of the uh, pipe wrap, but we, we got the, po the points that are making contact wrap. Uh, We'll get us some and do this thing all the way around, do the entire horseshoe part and that little connecting rod across the back uh, sometime next week. But for now, that's what we needed. Uh, we needed to get these doors off. Of course, we don't have the driver's side off just yet. But uh, I think it'll give me a lot more freedom to move around with uh, the roof skin whenever we start putting it on. Uh, 
that sun coming in that back window. I know it's pretty, pretty glary, but whenever we start to fold this lip, tubers, uh, we'll have plenty of room. We'll be able to get in and out easily. And hopefully that's gonna go good. That's what I'm most worried about is folding the lip. But there is a, a trim piece that goes over that. So uh, if I do make some mistakes along the way, I'll be able to maybe hide most of it. So, all right, YouTube, that's kind of where we at and what we've been up to. Made a little door cradle for the jack. That's, like I say, it's gonna make things a lot better. So uh, hopefully that showed up good taking that off. All right, you two, Jeff Lynn's in the garage with you. Christmas Eve, out and about, messing around a little. Uh, test fitting the roof skin. And I was uh, fortunate enough to find a 72 Camaro just about three or four miles from me that a guy has. He, he's... Uh, Got it in his shop. He bought it on a steel. I don't know if I've told this or not, but uh, the guy needed some money. He, uh, he's got a great car. It's not finished, but it is uh, it, It's well on its way. It's pretty much a complete car, interior and all. And uh, I did try to buy it, and I was not successful. But anyway, I told him if he ever sided to part with it, just uh, give me a chance at it. Like I say, it's a great looking car. I don't think the car's been restored uh, other than paint. But anyway, uh, what that did is it afforded me the opportunity to get some measurements. Um, I do have the back glass for this car. The front glass I don't have, front windshield. But anyway, uh, measurements were critical. I really needed those just to make sure that uh, as I go along, I get everything right. One thing I am going to have uh, an issue with, uh, when this panel was stamped, you can see right here down is actually folded in, and that's holding the roof skin <laughs> off from where it needs to lay in. And that's the same on both sides. I'll probably just hammer and dolly this flat or either cut that off if it's not needed i don't think it will be needed it's probably going to even get in the way as i come down into this area as the roof skin comes on down like it needs to uh, like i say we just kind of trying to test fit and uh and see where we at this is going to have to be cut on down a little bit more but i'm going to wait till i get the back end of this uh under panel finished and hopefully we'll be able to go from there and just determine on these A-pillars exactly where that needs to be. The driver's side A-pillar is a little rougher than the passenger side. It's gonna be a little bit more work there, but not too much, maybe. But again, you can see it. Uh, I think what it is, is it, as it was stamped for this, it just, when that, whenever they built that tool or die or whatever, that's just the way the stamping is. And again, this will need to come off more than likely up into here. Uh, and then we'll decide where we're going to split here once everything's all the way down. But anyway, we're going to pull the skin back off, get to work on the back end some today. And we'll see how far along we get. All right, Tober, same problem on this side. we got rust coming over here. We've got all this took out make the same piece that we did on the other side we're gonna come in and clean all that good and there's a couple of places that i'm gonna spot up but i'm gonna leave these holes here i mean i'll come back with some seam sealer or something on the inside but all that's gonna be filled in once that roof skin's on so it shouldn't be a problem to leave those holes so uh that's kind of where we at, just bring you along when we have some more progress, but we gotta make another patch for this side, just like we did the other side. We'll bring you along. All right, Tubers. Cut out our piece, made our new piece, welded to the inner panel. We actually had to go up about four inches and replace this piece. There was some rock right in that corner right there. So, uh, 
We've already got that lip put on, spotted to the quarter. All we gotta do is clean all this mess up. We're gonna cut across that back side right there, make our piece and start welding that in. All right, tubers, bring you back. All right, tubers, we've come along and done uh, a little initial cleanup on this side. And we cut a filler piece across the back and we just tacked it in and we got our curves down to the area of the windshield that we know is correct, but we're still not 100% sure on this bend in this area. And well, all the way across to be a matter of fact, uh, but what the plan is, is to let the uh, roof skin kind of dictate where that's gonna be. That's why we just spotted across there in a few spots We'll lay the roof skin on and see how it looks initially. And we'll get that thing up there, we'll bring you along. We got about enough for a video. We're probably gonna uh, wind it up for this one. And like I say, this will be uh, two or three parts probably before we get this thing done. So uh, we'll bring you along as best we can as we make progress. But uh, we'll put that roof skin on there and see what kind of what kind of contour we looking like there uh, and let that roof skin tell us what we need to do. All right, bring you back. All right, Tuber, Jeff, Lindsay, in the garage, fixing to get out of the garage and go in and enjoy Christmas. We got the roof skin on, uh, the contour of the piece that we put in uh, it is good. I, I like it. I don't think we're gonna have any pro problems with it. Um, we, we decided to make it out of 18 gauge. I'm not real sure what the other is, um, but I know it's not 16. So we went with the 18. I'm pretty sure that's, it's either 18 or 20, the existing inner panel. But anyway, that's irrelevant. Uh, I think that that piece is gonna work out good and uh, a lot of test fitting to go before we start nailing this thing down permanent. We gotta make sure uh, before we start welding on this thing that it's right because uh, we don't wanna have to buy another one for sure. But anyway, we're gonna leave it at that and uh, we'll try to get back out here tomorrow afternoon or the next day and start back on it and see how far we get before we have to go back to work. This will be part one of the series uh, on the roof skin and uh, on the roof skin repairs, the inner panel. So we'll just do this as part one, even though we had a video up uh, of, of beginning the repairs on this passenger side. Uh, thanks to all the subscribers, all the new subscribers that I've got on here uh, recently. Um, please comment, uh, if, especially if you got any information that I need to know, because <laughs> this is my first go around with a roof skin and uh, we can we can definitely use some some advice if you got it so uh appreciate everybody watching the videos i hope everybody has a very merry christmas happy hanukkah happy holidays whatever it is you celebrate and whatever it is you do i hope you have an awesome time doing it and uh we're gonna get back out here like i said in a day or two and just see what we can get going on in the rusty metal garage you two all right, we're going to leave it at that.